position. Physi physically, this Mars will be the Benji Marshall of 05. When I look at it, and here he goes, Benji Marshall! Right on cue! Spoke about how light he is on his feet. Watch the footwork. Comes off his left, left palm on Kiri. Kiri can't get to him. Now Benji Marshall, too quick. Good footwork, three or four kilos lighter. And what a start to the season. You'll see here from the front on left foot step, left arm fend on Kiri. Beats him with speed. Great work from Benji Marshall. Absolute class. Absolutely. Campbell's defence put one more shift in when they need to make the ball. And it's been released. Oh, oh, oh goodness me, how Myler found that key at the bottom of his pocket. Oh. was astonishing. It would take something special to beat this Bath defence tonight. Myler's just found it. Elliot's just scored. Well, you picked up on it, Nick. That defender down. Batty would have been stood on that blindside channel. What an offload this is from Myler. Absolutely sublime piece of skill. And he set up Darius Boyd for this second. It's Milford inside the Boyd. Wow. Anthony Milford can do it all. Sets it up for Darius Boyd to go over and score. That is a masterful piece of play. Doing well on his feet. Robson out there to Cipriani. Oh, through goes Gopper. Such power. He's got support either side. He doesn't need it. And that is rather better. He's been one of a number of success stories for Walsh this season as Jimmy Gopper. Fellas, can you tell Newcastle 1 and 2 that they're being replaced with? Took that at speed. Wonderfully timed run. Bit of skipping and hurdling along the way as well. They don't need to ship any more points before that half-time hooter sounds, but they will do! Oh. Walk through this gap, doesn't in the line. We can overread him where the ball was going to go. I think he was going the man behind him. And then... The ball on the ground. Now Yanchis works it across. Whiteley. Oh, beautifully taken. And it is Brian Habana. Yet another test try. And what a line. Really was as they swung it out to the right. The All Blacks certainly had numbers there. But Brian Habana, he came from depth and he just hit it like a bullet train. He really did. Some good football from both teams. Just Thurston! Oh, Jonathan Thurston to Chambers. And Will Chambers has scored the try. Keep your eye on English. He's behind there, jumping behind first. He goes the line. He sucks in Mitchell Pierce there. And Chambers just floats on the outside there of Mitchell Pierce. Absolutely beautiful pass. His last game professional 44 years ago. On we go. It's quick. Barnes shapes the line. Oh, that's a lovely ball out in front from Barnes. Here's a chance for the Wild Knights to kick clear past the Tars. And they're going to do it. Popping. And there is still blood popping for the great of Hornby. What a ball from Ben Hornby. Slide of hand. It's gorgeous. Look at it. Oh, the decoy did his job. It's left and right here for Wigglesworth. Farrell in behind to Aston. That was beautiful. And good. And Miles. Textbook stuff from Saracens. We see here. Farrell just puts the ball in behind. 
They don't go across and it ends up being two two on ones out wide. Was that, it was that boy, Benny Vin uh, Billy Vinopola, ran the decoy line that time and Andrew Conway said, Jay, I need to brace myself for a big impact here and they went out the back and you know that's 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 a really smart play of using him sometimes, but then on occasion he's gotta be used as a decoy and we just see the try here, look, Vinopola just drawn in, takes in those two defenders. Tips. Now he gets it to Paolo, he gets it to wow. the wonderful fullback running onto it in support again. Israel Falau. Falau just to ease through the gap. You see Cliffy straighten onto the ball, straight through the hole, drew the man. And Israel Falau doesn't come much easier than that for him. Kearns, it was a beautiful work here from Nick Phipps. Look at him. Pulls two players towards him, and then he's got players. Just running that slight unders line back at the ball. Vodopola throws the dummy and there it is. For Youngs. Oh. Matador touch from Youngs and there's George Ford. George Ford is away. Been threatening this all day. There's the dummy. It's an absolute beauty. And a great ball there to George Ford. But Mike Brown's the decoy. <laughs> He's played this so many times and he's given it every time by the watch. Pulls it back to Ben Youngs and Peter Steph to Toy just thinks, hang on, no. You're passing the ball. And once he's through, with George Ford coming up on his right shoulder, there's only one result. What a start for England, what a score for England. Didn't take long to find his seventh leg, did the beast, and well, he is a home run hitter, and he's hit this one out of the park in this final. So Tanaka works it off to Alage. Alage on the devil, pops it up, Endo! Beautiful, oh, magnificent. Perfectly. So he much play Nicholas. around Ryan Nicholas, isn't it? But the, the great interchange with Alage, the direct run from Kendo, who seconds earlier could have scored in the corner. Well, he's forgotten about that now because he's right under the bin and Japan will get seven out of this and they deserve it, Justin Marshall.